We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. We're showing you how to make our favorite eggplant parmesan. To save on some time, our version skips the salting, breading, and frying. It might not be 100% authentic, but all the traditional ingredients are there. Start with the eggplant. Just slice them into half-inch slices. We're going to roast them until golden brown and delicious. Don't forget, the full recipe with ingredient amounts is on Inspired Taste. To roast the eggplant, line them up on a couple of baking sheets. Drizzle them with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Flip every slice and add more olive oil, salt, and pepper to the second side. Roast the eggplant until it starts to soften and brown in spots. Then flip them and place them back into the oven until they are soft and tender in the middle and golden on top. While the eggplant roasts, you have time to prepare the remaining ingredients. You can use store-bought tomato sauce, but I highly recommend this red pepper tomato sauce. It can be made in the time it takes to roast the eggplant. The ingredients are simple fresh garlic, fresh tomatoes, and red bell peppers. Add the garlic, chopped tomatoes, and bell peppers to a saucepan. Along with a generous pinch of salt and some water. Yep, just water. Allow this to simmer away until the peppers and tomatoes are tender and reduced. It takes 20 to 25 minutes. Transfer the reduced tomatoes and peppers to a blender or food processor. Add some olive oil. Fresh ground black pepper. And fresh basil. Then blend until almost smooth. Last but not least, we need some cheese. We like to use a generous amount of Parmesan cheese as well as some mozzarella cheese, which I slice but grated works too. You can increase or decrease the cheese as you like. It's time to assemble. Spread one third of the sauce over the bottom of a large baking dish. Layer half of the roasted eggplant on top allowing some to overlap each other. Take a third of the Parmesan cheese and scatter it all over the eggplant, and then scatter about half of the mozzarella on top of that. Now grab a spoon and drizzle more sauce on top. I'm not covering everything though, it's nice to see through the layers. Now finish by layering the remaining eggplant, cheeses, sauce, and breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs add a lovely crunch on top. You can use store-bought, but these are our homemade breadcrumbs, which I find much tastier. A link showing how we make them is available below. Bake the eggplant parmesan uncovered until the sauce and cheeses are bubbly. Let it cool for a few minutes, add some extra basil on top, and then dig in. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.